So recently in my smart home journey, I've been starting to make smart home devices and also turn dumb appliances into smart appliances using things like ESP32 chips. Now along that process, I started needing to solder things again. And I pulled out this old Weller soldering iron that I've had for almost 40 years. And one of the major problems I've got, this still works, hard to believe, but it actually does. Now, the problem with this iron is that the tip is way too skinny and it's really hard to heat objects up. So I was looking at ordering a new tip, but honestly, the cost was going to be quite crazy. And then I came across this little guy, the Pine 64 Pine Sill. And this is a fully digitally controlled soldering iron that runs off USB power. So I thought I'd bring you on the journey and show you what I thought of this little device. So I came across this device on AliExpress and I'm not sure whether it is actually the original product or not. This is the website for the original product. But either way, if it is, it's a very, very good replica. And as you can see, the price is incredibly good and they're offering free shipping as well. So what is this device? It is effectively a, a mini portable soldering iron with a 32-bit RISC-V processor built into the device. Um, it's powered by USB or a barrel jack and it automatically negotiates with the supply over USB on how much voltage and current it can actually draw through the system. So it heats up incredibly quickly. I'll demonstrate it just now. They're saying in 12 seconds, I think it should be pretty close. Um, you can adjust the temperature anywhere between 100 degrees Celsius and 400 degrees Celsius using the easy buttons and the OLED display. Um, it's really small and light and a sleek design and it automatically turns off if you're not using it. It's got a little accelerometer inside it. So let's have a look at the device itself. So having a look at it, it's a really nicely made little device. Feels like a quality plastic. It's got this nice rubbery sort of handle on it to hold it with. On the back side here, we've got our barrel jack and our USB power supply. On the front side, we've got an earth that you could connect up there. We've got two buttons. We've got this OLED screen over there. And then we've got a screw over here that will release the actual bit of the soldering iron. Don't over tighten this, otherwise you might damage. So it comes as standard with this needle point tip and I actually wanted to get a bigger one so I'll show you the one that I've got but this is what came with it and on this side you can see it's got the connections that go in so I upgraded the tip to this one which is coming with a, a little bit of a flatter edge almost like a screwdriver on that side now one thing about these irons you do need a very powerful transformer so I'm using a USB-C power supply of 65 watts that came with my laptop now, unfortunately, the screen does pulse on the video. When you look at it in real life, it's absolutely perfect. But you'll see from here that there are a whole lot of menus. You can go in, set up the power settings, the soldering settings, the sleep mode. Everything works absolutely seamlessly. And it literally does heat up to sort of 350 or 400 degrees Celsius within less than 12 seconds. Using it to solder, I just thought I'd show you on one of these little 12 volt connectors. So we'll just heat that up, put some soldering iron on there. And as you can see, it pretty quickly melts it on there and gives you a really good contact. Now, please excuse my terrible soldering skills, but I've got a long way to go, but it's a lot of fun. So as you can see, this is just an honest opinion of this product. I did buy it with my own money and I will be testing it and using it a lot more and I'll give you my feedback as that goes. Yes, it is a knockoff, but it is one way to get yourself a super cheap soldering iron to get started. Anyway, that's all for now. You have a great week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.